This week promises to be an exciting and historic time for our state. It's a week where we will build on our already strong friendship with China. Tasmania is well and truly open for business and this week is an important opportunity to reinforce that message as well as achieve some real outcomes. On Monday, I'll be travelling to Canberra to sign a number of memorandums of understanding with China and we'll be the only state to do so. This includes an MOU with the China Development Bank Corporation, China's largest wholesale lender. This will make it easier for Chinese businesses to invest in Tasmanian mining, agriculture and tourism projects, meaning more Tasmanian jobs. We'll further strengthen our sister relationship with the Fujian province with a new MOU which will look at growing economic and trade relationships between our two regions and which establishes areas for joint cooperation, including in our competitive strengths of agriculture, forestry, fisheries and education. We'll sign an agreement to develop a wind farm in Tasmania to test the feasibility and performance of Chinese wind turbine technology in Australia, leveraging off our expertise in renewable energy. And we'll also sign an MOU with the Shaxi province to improve the international competitiveness of our fruit industries, an area of significant export potential into China. And on Tuesday, the eyes of the world will be on us when President Xi visits our state. Literally tens of millions of people in China will receive their images of their president in Tasmania, marketing for our tourism industry that no amount of money could buy. I know Tasmanians will join with me in wishing the Chinese delegation a very positive and memorable time in our incredible state. The Chinese President's visit provides us with an unparalleled opportunity to raise Tasmania's profile globally, to attract investment and strengthen our economic ties, all of which represents a more prosperous Tasmania. Let's show the world what we have to offer.